welcome, welcome, welcome to 15minute.church where we love God and we love others as we love ourselves. Praise God, I'm glad you're here today. Well, today's message is entitled, Nothing is Impossible with God. Oh yeah, nothing is impossible with God. And it comes out of the Holy Bible, New International Version, Book of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 24 through 27. The Bible says, again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Peter answered him, we have left everything to follow you. What then will be there for us? Praise God, hallelujah, for the book of Matthew. You see, God issues rules and commands, not because he expects we'll be able to keep them, but because it's the only way to show just how far we fall short. The book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 23, the Bible tells us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. See, we naturally associate faith with religion. Yet one of the remarkable things about Jesus' ministry was that he was at odds with those who were the most religious. That's because more often than not, religion focuses on what we've done for God. Jesus, on the other hand, focused on what God has done for us. You feel me? Biblical faith trust in the mercy and the forgiveness offered to us in Christ. Sadly to say, too many of us fail to see this because many of us are blinded by our own pride, blinded by our own delight and charm. We end up self-righteously clinging to the rules and laws of religion. Some people fail to see that God uses religion as a tool to create a dilemma that no religion can solve. But those that are humble, those that are meek, respectful, submissive, and modest, these people, these people see just how far we fall short and will start to search for something more. And when they start searching, when we start searching, when I start searching, just beyond the condemnation of the law, we'll find mercy, we'll find compassion, will find grace and forgiveness and acceptance. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48, the Bible tells us, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Amen. Praise God. You see, those who go beyond religion will find grace while others get stuck in a legalistic religion, being condemned by their own failures, trying hard to uphold the demands of their religion. You know, they become trapped in the fruitless effort of religion, trying hard to save themselves. They become trapped in the law, trapped trying to conform to man's rules instead of God's rules. Think about it like this. A man, he's driving the car, and his wife is at his side, and his mother-in-law is sitting in the back seat. The mother-in-law from the back seat hollers at him, you driving too fast, slow up, slow up, driving too fast. You know, his wife on the side, she says, stay more to the left, honey, stay more to the left. You know, after 10 of these mixed up commands and orders, the man turns to his wife and asks, he says, who's driving this car, you or your mother? So let me ask, who's really driving the car in your life? another human or is God driving the car in your life driving you to a life of eternal happiness a life of prosperity oh yeah prosperity in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 
God says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. Praise God. You see, we as children of God inherit silver. We inherit the gold. The streets in heaven are even made of gold. And God is driving the cop. You see, the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 35, the Bible tells us, direct me, me in the path of your commands, for there I find the light. You see, if I depend on the energy of flesh, I can't serve God. I can't please God. Flesh, the flesh can do much anything good. But if I yield to God, if I yield to the Holy Spirit, if I yield to Jesus, then I'll have the power needed to do God's will. I know I can make it through anything this world throws at me as long as I let God drive the car in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, this is past.